everyone, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me over on Laura Alberts' YouTube channel for our Scrap Timber 30 Days of Scrapbook Sketches collaboration. Now those of you that follow along with Laura Alberts' channel, you will know that Laura has been struck down by a lurgy and she has got a throat infection and she has lost her voice. Now because of this, she has not been able to do any voiceovers and she was not able to um, publish any of the videos that she had already prepared and organized for our Scrap Timber series. Now Katie and I, we put our heads together and we did not want her missing out on sharing these gorgeous videos with you. So we decided we would lend our voices to Laura and do some voiceovers for her. Now, I will w let you know that I have not really pre-watched this video. I thought it would be a little bit of fun to kind of um, to speak off the cuff as I watch what Laura is up to. She has given me some notes to share with you because there will be some sort of technical things that you guys would be interested in knowing about. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to chat away and hopefully you enjoy watching Laura's amazing work and listening to my little Aussie voice over here. So, of course, it is day 10 of our Scrap Timber series. You will know that, of course, we uh, do Scrap Timber every year as a collaboration with Laura. We've been doing that for the past few years now. And day 10's prompt was the 6x6 paper pad. Now, spoiler alert, Laura goes a little bit rogue, as we know she is sometimes wants to do, but we love it and her layout is going to be gorgeous at the end. I am certain of that. I love the colours that she is mixing here as well. That is so cool. I love how the blue in that um, wood grain hexagon really picks up the blue in the paper. And then the, the all the different coloured circles are picked up in that the top part of that greeny colour. So pretty. Uh, our special guest today, we are being joined by the fabulous Sue Plum. Uh, so make sure you pop on over to check out Sue Plum's layout. And don't forget to hit up that description box down below because you will, of course, see all the other fabulous people that join us each and every day, uh, including, of course, the Scrappy Sisters and as well um, Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life, as well as just all the other amazing ladies who are joining in every single day of this month of Scrap September. There are so many of them participating this month. So now that all of that technical stuff is out of the way, let's watch what Laura is creating. So she is using her August stash kit to create the layout today. I wonder how much of her stash kit she has used up so far. Oh, I love that she's got those big sort of papers of foam. I have never found those in Australia, especially not ones that are already pre-stickered. Like that is awesome, so much easier. I found big sheets of foam, but then I just have to add my own adhesive. So foam tape just seems to be as helpful. Now that book is um, One Canoe Two sticker book from American Crafts. And she is using her Fiskars Small Hexagon Punch. Also, if you're wondering about the sort of see-through clear acetate Oh, acrylic maybe um, hexagon that she was tracing around earlier to get those perfect giant hexagons. It is the hexagon quilting template for large shapes. I love all these hexagons. They are beautiful. Such a pretty font in this sticker book too. Oh, a clear sticker. I love how she just jumps right in with the clear stickers. Ah. Oh. Clear stickers are just not my thing. Ah, yes, here we go. This is my thing. This is what I do. Um, so I'm sure you know this tip inside and outside by now, but if you do struggle with clear stickers as I do, or like Laura was finding when she was trying to put hers down, they're just getting lost on your page, definitely have a go at putting them onto some white patterned paper, or white pattern paper, no, white card stock, and um, fussy cut around them, and then they will pop off the page, and they'll be perfect. They'll just be like having a little piece of ephemera. Love those little banners going along down the bottom there. These photos are of Laura's two middle children, and they are at a scout food guide 
a drive, a stout food drive for Thanksgiving, which is just gorgeous. I really want to get my son into scouts. Um, there's a local uh, Cubs, I think, actually. And my son's little, so that's perfect. But I don't even know. Or I assume they offer both. Um, I don't think they offer joeys, though. It says on the board that I don't think they offer joeys there. But Cubs and Scouts are just really close by to us. I think he'd really love it. When I was a kid, I was in Scouts. Uh, my dad was super big in the Scouts. So I think um, he'd really enjoy the sort of adventure and the hands-on aspect of it. And I think it's just such a beautiful message to, um, you know, share the kids, uh, share with the kids about doing things for others. I just think that's really cool. So working with her One Canoe 2 uh, sticker book, and I know that she's going to pull out another sticker book soon. Love the layers of these little bunting flags underneath her photos. So nice, layering all that up. Did I hear correctly that One Canoe 2 is no more? Did I hear that right? Or maybe they are still going to continue under their own banner, but that they are no longer um, under the American Crafts banner. Did I hear that correctly? There was quite a few that got sort of, I guess, dropped, for want of a better word, um, in the last sort of release at the start of the year was it um bit of a surprise there for some of them I think for me I mean not for the people I was surprised um now she did tell me I'm just looking at my notes from Laura here she did tell me that she went a little bit rogue with the sketch because she had two photos and because she had two photos she doubled up the background shape so on the sketch the sketch design is that beautiful circle so instead of having a large circle piece obviously she switched out the circle piece for a hexagon but also instead of just having a hexagon just one she has doubled that up because she has got the two photos I absolutely love that idea I don't think I would have thought um, just because I have two photos, I should therefore or could therefore double that circle element or that shape element behind um, the photographs. I think I would have still just left one hexagon and then filled the whole thing with my photos. Uh, and I love the way that she has used two. By using two, she's really made you still see the hexagon. It hasn't been overpowered by the photos. And then you've got that whole feel of the hexagons coming across the page. I also really love the placement and how it's following the line of the diagonal there. Um, I think that's really pleasing to the eye. Uh, all of her little little mini hexagon shapes that have been punched, they have been used with scraps and six by six papers. And these sticker sheets are Jen Hatfield reaching out sticker sheets as well. So lots and lots of little sticker embellishments coming onto this page. I have to say, I'm not a massive fan of those sticker books like the One Canoe 2 one that she had before. I find that there are almost too many stickers in there. I mean, what a thing to complain about, right? But I feel like they are never ending and you put them in your stash kits and things like that and they just keep going and going and going and going. I personally rather the sort of a 12 by 12 size like these Jen Hatfield ones that she's got here. Uh, just for me because I feel like I can actually achieve at completing those. Now, do we have to finish all of our supplies? Of course not. But does it make me feel good when I do? Absolutely. Um, I am not bashing stash, stash very well at all myself at the moment. Um, I feel like I am because I've put so much in a box and just put it in the garage while we're renovating. But it actually still exists. It's just in the box. So hopefully uh, when my space is organised, I will be able to get back into bashing some of my stash as well. I really love the way with Laura's stash busting kits, she mixes old and new supplies. She combines different um, like uh, suppliers and, and companies and things like that so that you don't feel like she doesn't feel restricted into only having the same um, you know, like it's all One Canoe 2 or it's all Paige Evans or it's all Jen Hatfield or anything like that. She mixes it up and works with 
the color schemes and the themes that go well together, which I think is really, I think that's actually a bit of a skill. I don't necessarily have that skill, which I think it's super cute that she is able to do that. And speaking of super cute, oh my goodness, these little stickle dots, those little glitter stick, I think it's stickles, um, glitter dots up behind the flat, um, the butterfly and the bee. That is so cute. I love that. All right, cutting out a bit of a border page here, um, gutting the paper so that she doesn't waste that middle section. She does not need the weight because she's got a good 12 by 12 sheet there already. So gut those beautiful flowers and use them again another day. Trim off a little bit of extra on here so she can pop a little bit of a bluish colored border around the edge. This layout has come together just beautifully and I've had so much fun um, voiceovering it. I hope you have enjoyed listening to me blabber on. It's not quite the same as when Laura does it herself, but uh, hopefully it was fun for you and this way you're not missing out on the layout. I love that she's finishing off with some splatters, girl after my own heart. A um, little bit of doodling just to make those hexagons really pop off the page and she is going to be done. I've had a blast doing this layout with you today. Hopefully I get to do it again soon, although I do wish Laura good health and that her voice comes back. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely fabulous week. Don't forget to tune back in tomorrow to see our next layout for Scrap Temper and our 30 days of scrapbook sketches. 